For the nonlinear system of differential equations, we're asked to find and classify their critical points. We have x prime equals negative x plus x squared and y prime equals y. The critical points are where x prime and y prime are both equal to zero, given x prime equals f of x comma y and y prime equals g of x comma y. The first step is to determine the critical points and determine if they are isolated. Notice y prime is zero when y is equal to zero, x prime is equal to zero when x is zero or when x is positive one. This indicates we have two critical points. The critical points are zero comma zero and one comma zero. Algebraically, because there are no other x and y values where x prime and y prime are both zero near these two critical points, they are isolated. But let's also verify this using the corresponding vector field and face portrait. We'll be using the online tool shown below. First, we enter our equations. We have x prime equals negative x plus x squared and y prime equals y. And now let's make some changes below. Let's first change the window so the x, y axes go from negative two to positive two. Let's also click on the variable length arrows box. And now we'll click graph face plane. If we scroll down, it does appear as if we have critical points at zero comma zero and one comma zero. Again, this is where both x prime and y prime are equal to zero and therefore the vector at that point would be the zero vector. To make it even more obvious though, we can graph trajectories by clicking on points on the coordinate plane. Not only does this verify our critical points, we can also see at the point zero comma zero, it appears as if we have a saddle point, and at the point one comma zero, it appears as if we have a source. But let's go ahead and verify this formally. The next step is to determine the Jacobian matrix of the critical points. If the Jacobian matrix is invertible, the system is almost linear at the critical points. So again, given x prime equals f of x comma y and y prime equals g of x comma y, the Jacobian matrix is defined as we see here using the partial derivatives. So in our case, the partial of f with respect to x is the partial of negative x plus x squared with respect to x, which is negative one plus two x, and the partial of f with respect to y is the partial of negative x plus x squared with respect to y, which is zero. In the second row, we have the partial of g with respect to x, which is the partial of y with respect to x, which is zero. And finally, we have the partial of g with respect to y, which is a partial of y with respect to y, which is one. And now let's consider the critical point zero comma zero. For the next step, we, for the next step, we determine the Jacobian matrix at the point zero comma zero by substituting zero for x which indicates the entries are negative one, zero, zero, one. Notice this matrix is invertible, meaning it does have an inverse, because the determinant is not zero. This indicates the system is almost linear at the critical point zero comma zero. Step three, we find the eigenvalues of the Jacobian matrix at the critical point. Once we know the types of eigenvalues, we can classify the critical points using the table below. To find the eigenvalues, we need to set up and solve the equation the determinant of the difference of j and lambda i equals zero, and the result is the equation, the quantity negative one minus lambda times the quantity one minus lambda equals zero, indicating lambda is equal to plus or minus one. Referring to the table, because the eigenvalues are real and have opposite signs, the critical point zero comma zero is a saddle and the stability is unstable. And now we go through the same process again at the point one comma zero. At the point one comma zero, the Jacobian matrix has entries one, zero, zero, one, which once again is invertible, and therefore the system is almost linear at the point one comma zero. Next, we determine the eigenvalues of the Jacobian by again setting up and solving the equation, the determinant of the difference of j and lambda i equals zero. This time the result is the quantity one minus lambda times the quantity one minus lambda equals zero, and therefore lambda equals positive one, which has multiplicity two, and therefore we consider this two real positive eigenvalues, again referring to the table, this indicates a critical point one comma zero is a source or unstable node, and the stability is unstable. Going back to the face portrait one last time, the face portrait does verify our results. I hope you found this helpful.